today's episode. Masarap kainin, murang bilhin. Take a peek into the state of the banana industry through the experience of Dizon Farm. Thinking of entering a banana business? Arali ng farm management practices ng Dizon Banana Farm. Restoring nature is easy when people have unity. Plant trees with us in Davao City. Namumuong mga bakterya sa lalamunan ng mga alaga? Give them the right care with CanCare. This portion is brought to you by Tatak Excellence. Yan ang magaling! This is the top export of our country. Let's get a taste of this industry with the Highland Bananas of Dizon Farms. According to the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, the world produces 120 million fruit a year. And Philippines is the second top exporter in the world. We're number one in Asia. 90% of banana that's being exported from Asia is from the Philippines. Production of bananas in the Philippines is concentrated mainly in Davao, Mindanao. Banana in industry is not only is it number one agricultural export of uh, Mindanao, but it's also the number one export of the whole Mindanao. Hectares of bananas are planted in the highland valley of Kapatagan, at the foot of Mount Apo. And this land is home to one of the top exporters of the country, Dizon Farm. Maraming pagkakaiba ang highland banana sa lowland bananas. Isa na dito ay ang mas matagal na maturity ng prutas. Ang highland banana, because uh, it's cold at night, ang tendency ng halamin, ang metabolism, nakihina. So ang maturity, maturity ng prutas ngayon, matagal. Instead of eight or nine months in the lowland, it takes 11 to one year. Pero dahil mas matagal ang maturity ng Highland Bananas, iba rin ang lasa at kalidad ng produkto. Hindi ibig sabihin ito ay automatically higher demand ang Highland compared to Lowland dahil karamihan ng buyers ay hindi aware sa quality difference ng dalawa. The, the low altitude banana and the high altitude banana look the same. But people are able to taste the uh, high altitude banana and compare it with the low altitude banana and definitely are now buying high altitude banana. Because mas matamis eh, saka mas masarap, mas malakas ang flavor. Banana farming is profitable because of the stable demand and good marketability. But because its market price is low, profitability is also low. It is uh, profitable, but not very profitable. It's stable, and yet there's some risk. It's a matter of econo econ economics of scale. The bigger you are, because you have all the necessary technical support, quote, you're supposed to be efficient. For these reasons, hindi nagiging recommendable ang pagsasaging for backyard and small-scale farming. There are other crops that are more profitable and less risk. Remember here, once you plant your banana, it's gonna be there in your field forever unless you cut it. And other crops, only three months. Deciding to enter the banana business mean high capital and heavy management. Dahil hindi advisable na magsimula sa maliit na farm, manawakan din ang labor na kailangan para makumpleto ang process of managing your plantation. If each hectare can hold 2,000 plants, you will also need two to three people who will work for you. Bamboos for the support of the plant, pesticides, and fungicides, the total startup capital may cost up to a million pesos per hectare. Maliban dito, the banana industry is also facing a formidable threat. May dumating na sakit dito sa banana industry nga na tawag Panama disease. Uh, Fusarium wilt is a fungus that is soil-borne. Pag dumikit ngayon sa ugat ng saging, nakamatay ang saging. 
naagapan man ito through tissue sampling, mas mabilis pa rin ang evolution ng sakit versus the technology ng cultivars. In the 1930s, it was the uh, disease that destroyed the uh, banana industry in Panama. So itong si Dr. Cavendish found a resistant cultivar. 80 years later, the uh, Fusarium wheat has evolved and it's now called Panama Disease Race 4. Now, yung original Cavendish, which we plant here in Kapatagan, is no longer resistant to the Race 4. So, yan ang pinaka uh, most challenging uh, part ng industry ngayon. Kaya ganun na lang kaimportante na maging competitive sa industry which you can do by being certified for good agriculture practices. That's why you have to approach uh, agriculture now in a holistic way. You have to uh, take advantage of every loophole in which you could gain uh, and be in an advantage position kagaya ng practicing good agriculture practice. And there are uh, consolidators or market that uh, are willing to pay a premium as long as you do good agriculture practice. At the end of the day, it makes us even more competitive. Banana farming has stable demand and marketability is not a problem. However, this business also requires high capital, heavy management, and has high risk. So if you want to enter the world market, then apply good management practices and you will be competitive in this industry.